king has declared war on some things as well. Yeah, we may have to independ this faction. A dangerous faction now. Oh, is it still the peasants? Yeah, we're at war with them. It's like, I don't need... Chocolate. I don't need... Um, I don't know if Alistair's in here. I don't need a dangerous faction pop up when I'm already at war with the faction. Yeah. Like, I, I realize it. Also, we may have slightly different opinions as to what was a dangerous faction. And done. He's another good military leader. I'll negotiate release. Oh, he won't convert. Oh, he's already Catholic. Recruit and gain a hook? No. He'd accept just a recruit. It's not like he even hates me that much. Boom. Join my court. I'm all risky and chocolate. Who dat? It's Soltek. Hey, Soltek. Thank you very much for that. Wow. Hey, Quill. Thanks for the content of the years. Hope you're enjoying CK3. I am finally getting a handle on the UI and such getting ready to relive my first CK2 game as 1966 Poland soon. Nice. I've never really played in that, that area too much. What happens when there's no males in the Dynasty left? You have to find out. Um... You would find some other connection, presumably. At some point, you it can be inherited someone outside of the dynasty, in which case it just switches to that. Create the Duchy of Cornwall. I'm not sure there's any reason to do that. Okay. Um. Wow, Alba's moving around. We don't have any really convenient wars. We could start fabricating. I think that's what we're going to do, is we're going to start fabricating on some more Frenchy bits over here. We've got some holy wars available. Oh, no, that's right. That's why we're not doing this is because we're still doing conversions, which I like the idea of. So then it mostly comes down to who might I like to holy war against. They, just a single county here. It's not very sexy. We'd have to fabricate on Wessex to move into there, which is no good. Um, I mean, we don't have any any real claims over here. Murder, secret tunnel. Secret tunnel? I know a song about this! Any Avatar fans out there? I'm sure there's a few. Um, my agents approached me with a bunch of papers. Oh, I gotta disband my troops. Um, with a bunch of papers clutched in the hand. Might be outdated, but look here. It's a tunnel we can use. Murder scheme gains progress. Secret tunnel through the mountain. My agents prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired, and the duck was gifted to Valorin alone. He will be. It will be rubbed with the poison, and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it serves. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Bon appetit. Poison did its job, and he's no more. None of my agents were suspected. Although that is a secret that could be discovered at some point, which would be annoying. It'd be interesting if some of these secrets, like for the murderers, might like expire at some point. I mean, I mean, I know we never stop being a murderer, but <laughs> we never stop being a murderer, you guys. But you know what I mean? It's like 50 years later and someone finds out and you're like, like, man, it's ancient history. <laughs> He's the guy puked on her wife? Maybe. Someone's accused Marco, the son-in-law of Count, of having an extra mental affair. Um, I'd lose a level of devotion if I go there, so nope. I don't want that. Oh, whatever. Things happen. Realm would lose land when the vassal dies. My vassal, Count Matilda of Samar, holds titles that won't be inherited. Currently a prison, where is she? Hmm. She's currently pregnant, so actually that's not going to be a problem. I could ransom her out of here. But do I care about that? Oh, we can go on a pilgrimage again. I'm gonna do that, you guys. Uh, we've been to Jerusalem already. Let's go, let's go. You know what? Let's go to Cologne. Let's mix it up. Let's go to Cologne. Now, I don't remember. I know there's a giant cathedral in Cologne. Why was Cologne a site of pilgrimages? What's, what's interesting about them? Oh, wait, she's my prisoner? Oh, is this the one I just arrested? Because she's an adulterer? Oh. Mm, no. Yes. Brian of Three Kings. Lots of Catholics. I think Jesus visited... Col uh. Hostile bones are buried there? Oh, maybe that's why. I'm going to release her for a hook. And then I'm going to use that to raise her taxes, probably. Mm -hmm. 
Or, you know what? Let's raise the levy. Pilgrimage, rude story. Passing by the campfire, one of my fellow travelers is telling a story she once heard about some duke to raucous laughter. They all fall silent when I approach, except for the storyteller. Ah, don't worry, my lord. You're nothing like the churl in the story. It's about the duke of some far-off place called Brittany. <laughs> really? Tell me more about this duke. I like that I'm going to lose stress and just enjoy the funny story. The thing is, I don't have any stress. Guards, fetch my whip. I gain dread, lose piety. Perhaps the town I found others to travel with. You gain varied companions. Opinion, different cultures, different culture opinion. None of these do anything. You know, I just want to, I want to hear the story. Aww. Doesn't actually give us the story. Come on! I'm going to submit this as a bug report. Book is expired. Okay, fine. I will walk the holy path. There you go. Determined Pilgrim kicks back in. Bunch of piety kicks back in. Tomb of the Three Magi, the kings, is reliquially traditionally believed to contain the bones of the biblical magi. Like the three magi who... Like those are the three wise men that like showed up when uh, Jeezy Creasy was born, right? Once upon the time, the duke was a dum-dum. The end. <sighs> Off with your head! So, you are converting, you are culture converting, beautiful, lovely, swell. Great work, Hugo. I'm gonna go and, uh, why don't you go to Paris and see if you can find some secrets. I know it sent you there before, but I'm gonna send you there again. And we're gonna get some more French culture going on. Although part of me is like, oh man, it's too bad we didn't keep the Breton culture. We're gonna maybe go in that direction. Next time, put her in a convent. I took Wester Burglar out to play with a bow, and to my surprise, she ran into a wounded doe. She had not hesitated in the slightest to bring it down. She is currently ambitious. I mean, she's way out of line of inheriting anything. But it's not usually a good idea to have the siblings of your future ruler be ambitious. She could also become sadistic. Or paranoid. Natural dread. Yeah, all three are bad. Because they're all... Well, I mean, it's always like that. Like, you, you're either... It's going to be a good trait that you can replace with another good trait. Or it's a bad trait you can replace with another bad trait. Um, They're all pretty bad in terms of what we'd want it's our non-rulers to be as well. Because it's like boost intrigue. Um, can use hostile schemes against their own children? What? If you're sadistic, you can murder your own kids? Whatever, we'll just let her be ambitious, not get stressed. Fine, what could possibly go wrong? It'll be make for a good story. Gav, hey, thank you very much. Hey, Quill, enjoying the CK3 content, finding it much easier to get into over CK2. Any tips on ways to start a game? Count over King. Well, it really depends. I actually quite like, I think the Dukil level play, which happens to be where we're, we're at now, I think is often some of the most interesting. Because you've got vassals, you get to deal with that, but you're not, you know, you're not fully independent, so you don't have to worry about, like, Bavaria showing up and, like, declaring war on all of you. And, like, dealing with all of France might be hard. Although smaller kingdoms is good. Um, Scotland's fun, uniting Ireland is always fun. So it, it really varies. Uh, starting as a one-county count can be somewhat difficult and sometimes slightly boring if you really can't do anything. But sometimes it's also the most satisfying, so I don't know. That's really hard to answer. Greetings, my thoughtful liege. I find my work at Corn Aubrey. I failed to find any secrets that his daughter might possess. However, the truth does not have to stop us. It would be simple to make sure that Almondas suddenly did have secrets that she did not want to get out. You're saying we're going to fabricate a fake secret on the daughter of the king. This option is available because I have truth as relative perk. I'll get a strong hook on the daughter of the king. I mean, I could let everyone know that she's gay. Seems rude, though. Why would we do that? Uh, that costs a lot of money, though. If I didn't do anything, it would just boost her opinion. Francia and Scandinavia? Ooh. That's a lot of money. Is my marshal... My mar I keep... Here's one of the things I sort of wished. Um, when the marshal finishes his control job, we I don't think we get a pop-up. We might on the right-hand side, but that's it. I want, um, sometimes you do get a note. Oh, yeah, low county control and county. So if I, if I keep an eye on this, 
Although this is still there, even if my um, my marshal is assigned somewhere. I would like a reminder that is clear. Your, you don't have max control and your marshal is, is idle. I mean, he's not really idle because he goes back to this. But your marshal is not currently increasing control anywhere. And there are places you could increase control. I would like a notification at that time. That would be super convenient. You know what? Maybe we just rip down the scholar. Know thyself is something I would want when we're a little older. Yes, I know that we know about that vassal. That was the one we just released from prison. Hmm. This only works, I think, if we're the head of the, uh, the culture, which we're in. That is really handy. I don't know. I kind of want to. I kind of just want to go down the religious branch. Okay, just kind of want to go down here. Servant of honesty. Oh, I was shocked when I caught Green Eyes trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting Mayor Benoit. He confessed he had thought he could get away with it, but now he knows it's wrong. Honesty will serve you best in the long run. So currently, Green Eyes is honest. Good for diplomacy. Really bad for intrigue but is a Catholic virtue. No, we have to cover up your wrongdoings. We could replace honest with deceitful. Not so good for diplomacy. Great for intrigue, but considered sinful and can be bad for opinion. Or we could have him become humble. No stat points, but gives him piety. Both his liege and his vassals like him more. Humble is really good for maintaining good relations. I mean, I do think honesty is pretty powerful IRL. I think right now, I think humble is going to be stronger in this situation. It's too bad that humility is not considered a virtue. But I guess we do get the bonus piety anyway. I'm going to go with this. And Green Eyes is potentially going to be our ruler, which means we're going to like the fact that he's, you know, the liege and vassal opinion bonuses. I think this is going to be handy. And now it's like, you don't need to tell me about the low control because my marshal's already working on things. Something. I don't know. Uh, oh, we could go and do a lot more work again here. Let's start with uh, our capital. Um, do we have the tech to upgrade? No, we don't have the battlements innovation. So we can't upgrade the keep itself. We can't upgrade any of the duke buildings. Or we can't build any of those. Um, we can't upgrade you. But again, the, the golden ones here are the ones that are upgradable. Yay! Religious conversion. See, we get a pop-up for that. We don't get a pop-up when we hit 100% um, control. Yeah, this is still like make more hooks. Now, strong hook as opposed to weak hook. Blackmail, strong hook's much more powerful than weak hooks. Can force someone to do terrible deeds, such as becoming your agent in murder schemes. Uh, strong hook will also prevent the target from taking any hostile action towards the holder. Strong hooks are not spent when used, but instead going to cool them before they can use it again. Oh, yeah, those are really strong. Let's just be friends instead, and I think I'm going to cancel this. This is not really finding anything interesting. Um, maybe what would be better is having you find some hooks, maybe in our own... Our own court. Or something that belongs to a vassal. Not that I have any vassals that are terribly important. You know, why don't we just have you uh, just disrupt some schemes? It's gonna be fine. Oh, I want one of these glass stones. I'm gonna spend the money for it rather than uh, be indebted. Give me a bunch more learning experience. Excellent. Thing is, even without going to war, it's not like we're not embiggening and improving our realm in a multitude of different ways. Plus, you know, taking territory, it's lower control. And I'm not I'm not paying it playing it for just map painting. Culture discovered Casus Belly. Well, that sounds topical. 
can use individual du jour county cast spell. Right! I couldn't use um, um, du jour CBs before. That's what this is. Now, or this is probably relevant for Anjou. So, Main and Sable are both within the du jour Duchy of Anjou, which is mine. It's there we go. Chocolate. So I could declare war against Duchess Bertha, which is what I've been waiting for. Like, we could fabricate, but it's expensive, and my guy was busy doing conversions, right? Now I don't have to worry about conversions. Um, uh, about, sorry, about fabricating. Is I can justify here. Interesting that I can't take Maine? Maybe because it's her capital. But I can certainly seize the County of Sable. Inferior. That's a lot of troops to be inferior. Oh! But... You know who I'm allied to? I'm allied to the king! I'm allied to the king! Doing point uh, fabricate. I'm not fabricating though. Right? Actually, I'm not even, uh, I didn't realize I'm not even, uh, converting faith, which I should be doing. Let's do that. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do it. <laughs> Washington on your side. It must be nice. It must be nice to have the king of France on your side. So that's the okay, the Duke, but we're declaring on the deck. Really, not the Duke himself. What's that exclamation mark? Hold on a sec. Come back here. You come here. Learn while we're breaking the alliance. Right, but and now it's the king. You gotta be careful with this UI. But now if I go up to the Duchess and declare war, it's all legit. I'm seizing this. So okay, I think what's gonna happen here is that guy, the Count, isn't going to lose his territory. He's just going to be bending the knee to me instead of Duchess Bertha. We're both the king... Oh, he... Yeah, I mean, it shows me... It shows him as an ally. That's a good question. So someone said... Hang on, we're going to do a save before we do this then. Because there's something that's unclear. Because we're both vassals of the king, someone suggested that the king's not going to be able to join in here. Even though it does list him as over, you know, in the possible allies, and that she'd be inferior. But it's counting her as an inferior, assuming I have the king on my side. I think it's counting her as inferior, assuming the king joins on my side. No, he's not, the king's not over here. He's allied to me because our uh, kids are betrothed. Let's find out. We gotta save. No, I can 100% call in the king, which is kind of a shitty thing to do. It's gonna cost me 350 piety. Oh! There it is. It's grayed out. As I say, it would be really shitty to call in the king in a war against one of his own vassals. Don't get me wrong. I was gonna do it. Call you to war, and I've got dynasty members I can call in as well. Um over there. So this is costing me some renown, but I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm not going to mess around. We're going to get another duchess as well. I mean, renown, dynastic renown is hard to build up. This is an expensive, well, expense here, but it's going to be worth it. I won't call in my dynasty count because it's not going to be that big and it, you know, will just cost us more renown. Now, the only reason she's as strong as she is is because of all her allies. So it might take them some time to get there. So we may, depending on how this goes, actually, let's try to catch out this, this stack here, which is chasing down the 700 stack. Commander's in place. It's slipping away. What is it? Oh, yes. Uh, impatient. Sure. Bring down the speed a notch. They might lose this battle. No, I think ooh, it's going to be tight. I think we're going to reinforce in time. Even if we didn't, we'd still be able to catch these guys. But there you go. Now we can prevent the battle from being lost in the first place, which is swell. Okay. Um, let's go siege out our capital. And then probably the war goal. But if we siege out the capital, there's always a possibility we capture her or an heir or something like that, which makes a big difference. Does Renown spent the same way? Uh, effect... 
Um, no. So renown, spending renown doesn't lower our level of splendor, but renown is a very powerful resource that lets you do things like you can disinherit people. Um, if you're the king of a dynasty or the, the the head of a dynasty, which we are, I don't know how you do it. Oh, right here, disinherit, for example. This, by the way, this is your more powerful. If you do end up with multiple kids and you're worried about inheritance, um, especially like let's say you have the thing where you you get the warning a year before you die. So a year before you die, disinherit a couple of tactical people, tactically disinherit some people rather, and uh, keep your realm more in one piece, which you can do if you're the the head of your house doesn't have to be ahead of the dynasty just the head of the house so that's one of the big powerful things about making a cadet branch for example um yeah yeah so these guys are buzzing around and they are in my capital i'm gonna let the siege finish hopefully we can get there in time you know what i'll do i'm gonna detach and move over here all right move over there hopefully that'll be okay i think some of these guys are gonna follow along and then I'll bring in these guys as well. I didn't want to break the siege. And we got whiskey and chocolate. One sec. 47% just like that. Hello. I captured her son. So if we look at the war score here, we have 25% war score because we have her heir. Who dat? Warwolf! Hey, Warwolf! Hey, Quill, just caught this midstream, so I don't know if you figured out why you lost the county of Anjou previously. Liege Lord can, can get a war declared on him for your counties, and you won't be warned. You should always check your Liege Lord's wars. Okay, I mean, that... No, and so they hadn't broken it down, and that sort of makes sense. You know, in a, in a way. Still a little frustrating, and I mean, that might just be something that needs to be, a, like, a visual adjustment. Oh, there we go. They had to break their siege. Um, I guess I have a lot of guys over here. I might, because my um, allies are, are sticking with us. I think we're going to try to catch some of these. And then we'll go and siege out Sable. Oh! Thank you very much for the raid, Roomba. Oh, shit. Hold on. Wait. What is my ally doing? I guess I'm probably going to win, but like, what a shitty ass ally here. I get in the fight, they're like, no, you got this, bro. It's fine. I'm like, dude, I'm dying over here. No, no, no. You, got I trust you. You can do it. It's fine. Go ahead. Shitty ass ally. I mean, we do got this, right? The train's not great for us to be attacking, but we did have higher quality troops. My God. I had seen some Reddit posts about some some people complaining about some of their ally behaviors. Uh, overall, I've been I've been pretty happy with it. Like, it feels it's it's kind of nice. The the they mostly seem to do the right thing. They hang out by your armies, and mostly jump in in fights. But every now and again, maybe not so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, maybe that's what they were doing. They were gonna get in trouble over here. All right, good for them. Did I lose a cousin? My cousin Earl Aubrey. Oh well. Some of you may die, but that is a price I'm willing to pay. Ooh, I do have a contract change I can do. I always want more money. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just gonna hook this stuff for money. Imprison someone. Ooh, I can get a mystical communion. Let's run that right now while we're watching. Mid-war, we'll go and talk to God. My bishop does not like this. These sort of mystical communions. I think it's because, you know what? These priests want on the control. They want to be the mouthpiece of God. They don't like you when you get a direct connection. Like, no, we can't approve that. Um, Yeah, well, I want the, uh, li the learning lifestyle experience. Suck it. We're going to keep going down the religious branch. I kind of want to go theologian. I don't know why. Gift generosity. Oh, green eyes is generous. So I believe this will give them reduced tax income. Yes, it does, but plus three diplomacy is pretty strong. What else do we get? Diligent, which is plus one to everything. He does get plus 20% stress, but that's a lot of stats. That's a lot of stats. Patient, also good. It's actually, it's quite good. Again, liege and vassal opinion and the learning. Um, I think we'll go diligent. It's really strong. I think it's worth us taking the stress hit. It does mean he's going to take more stress in life. But, yeah. And everyone's voting too. I agree. We are a little stressed. Uh, should we write some thoughts down in the journal? So, dear diary, 
Today I was kind of pissed at some of my vassals. It doesn't cost us anything other than minus two diplomacy for a year. Which is a thing. Fetch me my journal. Stress coping, flowing ink. It's my first time hitting this button. I grab a pen and open my journal. With each sentence that graces the paper, I feel my shoulders relaxing. The clarity this process brings is unrivaled. I dip my pen once more. Occupied writing, writing for one year. 31 stress, burned away. Not as much fun as hunting, perhaps, but it works. Mm, how do you lock the pop-up window? You mean, oh, do you mean the outliner? Yeah, the outliner doesn't have a hard lock anymore, so there's something, every now and again, you'll you'll do something and it'll go away. I'm like, I just want this open all the time. I don't, I don't, I never not want the outliner. Unless maybe I'm doing a screenshot or something. That would be the one exception. I'm sieging there. My allies are sieging there. How convenient. So there's, uh, there's more than one castle in this county. There's two baronies here. I don't think we have any county currently that's like that. I think you meant the pop-up window and choices. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure what we're talking about then. Sorry. Uh, oh, I was going to say 100%, but that's not actually my war. You know what? Hold on. I'm going to go here because I'm worried the AI will decide to leave this siege. In any case, we can show up with more siege engines and increase the siege timer. Yeah, because actually they might respond here. They're siege my capital, but we'll finish the siege ultra quick. Ultra quick? Ultra quick. There it is. Um, and then we're going to come over here and try to kick their ass. And hopefully my allies will follow it. It looks like they're... Delay option and an action option for the tooltip in the settings. Oh, you're talking... Oh, you guys are talking about those. Okay. So, with the tooltips, you can tune this, like, dramatically. So, first of all, when you hover over a tooltip, at some point, I'm getting this border. Right? You see it clicking right there? So, now that this tooltip is sort of locked, so now I can do the sub-tooltip thing. Same thing there. Now, this is very tunable in the options, and I definitely recommend you fiddle with it and find the setting that works best for you. So, there's timer lock, which I believe is the default. Action lock, uh, where you middle mouse click to lock a tooltip, lock and unlock. And then mouse tendency, where it tries to do the smart thing. I think I left it on the default, but I think what I did is I lowered the delay. Because I think by default you had the, um, uh, or one of these. What did I tune? You can compare whatever defaults in the game for you. Um, I think I tweaked it a little bit, and I'm very happy with this. So I have to hover, you know, for, uh, for a moment. To get it to lock but it felt like a good duration if you set it to too short then what happens it locks instantly and then it gets kind of weird because you're like ah get out of my way i'm trying to mouse over something else so i think i'm i'm fairly happy with what i end up with what are we at 79 76 percent 76 percent if we can catch them over here somewhere maybe i should just go siege your territory some more because chasing these guys around is getting a little annoying Again, I sort of wish, and I say the same thing in EU4 all the time, I wish we sort of had a Stellaris-style thing where I could just right-click on an enemy army and just have my army just follow. You know, it doesn't have to be predictive. Just whatever province they're in, try to go to that province now. <clears throat> or if they're moving to somewhere, especially if they're already locked to somewhere, like go to that province or, or something like that. Save us a little bit of micromanagement. What are we at? All right, we need probably just siege... One thing anywhere in her realm will probably 100%. We'll probably get to 100% just from ticking war score as well, which should be in our favor. It is. <laughs> Lock delay is too long by default. Yeah, whatever it was, I, I felt like it was a little too slow. Like, I had to, I had to mouse over th something way too long for it to lock the way I wanted it. So I think I shortened it. So yeah, try the, the three different tooltip styles. They work very differently, and they all have different, like, little... Um, little tweaks you can throw in there and it's well worth finding something that works the way you feel it should these guys are chasing these guys down which is great i'll sit here and siege for now they could probably win a battle even if they didn't it wouldn't really cripple us too much they might they might do a two to one no they're gonna move away but that's okay i'm just gonna finish the siege 94 percent. if i just sat back and did nothing we could probably finish it but i may as well just sit here and do this while these guys just get chased around by my allies see what i mean though like while making a mega stack is the strongest play, this is sort of fine because it's not like the your enemy AIs make mega stacks either. See, they're chilling out over here, although these might just be raiders or something. 
Um, siege 1, 100% enforced demands. They gain fame and everything. So we have a new vassal. Prestige split. Disband. Lovely. And the, the Uber Duchy of Brittany is getting a little bit more potent every time. I think the lock delay was for new players. Yeah, I I'm, that's it. I think the lock delay is too long if you really don't need to do a lot of reading, right? If you're like, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's... Or, or whichever one it is. Like, I think I sped it up because we sort of know what we're eyeballing for. So having the tooltips working a little faster is generally a little bit more. Yeah, I, I suspect that the default was as good as a default for new players, but you want to be you want to be ready to, to mess with that. Yeah, we don't need piety. We need we want money. Make the Duchy of Cornwall. I don't really see a need to do that. Um, we would get extra prestige, but culture in Devon has changed. Lovely. So let's reissue. Oh, there's no more cultures. To, well, that's not true. Franconian over here. I could convert you to French. Let's not worry, because this might not actually be part of my realm long term. Things might change somewhere along the way. We'll just go ahead and collect taxes now, which I think I'm going to be happy with. We're still doing religious conversions, which are good. Happening where? Over here. That's swell. I think these are insular Christians. Yeah. I don't think that's necessarily making a difference. Well, it depends on... I was going to say it depends on their fervor, but it doesn't for me because of my stuff. Um, So, out of curiosity... I mean, we have a truce with you, but Maine itself belongs to the Duchy of Anjou. Yeah, we'd break the truce. There we go. Okay, no, I can seize the county of Maine. Why wasn't this option in there before? So I clicked on the seize county, which was Sabla, and then I went to change objective, and it wasn't in the list as, as an option. I could only go for Sabla. I mean, which is fine. There wasn't really a pro and con either way, but I'm not sure why it was like that. If this was the only... Because I would have thought I'd be able to declare on either one of these two counties, because they're both de jour Anjou. But I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, if I did make Cornwall... No, see, I, that's what I thought. Cornwall is literally these two provinces, and that's it. That's it. Two provinces for Cornwall. So, making the duchy would not give us any more de jour action. I would have to fabricate over here. I'd have to start fabricating in Wessex, and yeah, I got. Is there three here? I don't know if. Uh... Okay, no, there are four. I wasn't sure if White was a separate province or not. So I don't know if we make two. Could we use up the title, or would we need three? We need three. So we'd have to fight. We'd have to fabricate like three times. Then we could make the title, and then we could jour for the last one. It'd be way easier if they just wore the wrong religion. Can you embrace a heresy so I can holy war you? Thanks, that would be really convenient. Well, you know what? We have been streaming literally non-stop without a break for over four hours. Um, my throat is sore. My butt is sore. My mouse arm is sore. I think this is a great place for us to put in a cut. So I think we're probably going to do that. And unless I am wrong, and I'm never wrong, cut up. Um, we're going to go, we're going to raid A Kiss for Luck. They're doing, because Kiss for Luck, she's doing a Saturday double feature, a little ESO. They're having a party right now, and then they're moving over to Crusader Kings 3. I believe it's going to be some Crusader Kings 3 multiplayer. So let's go ahead and raid A Kiss for Luck. Next live stream is going to be on Monday. Now, normally Mondays are Motorsport Mondays, where we do Motorsport Manager, which is fantastic and excellent. But we might do more Crusader Kings 3, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. For now, let's rate a kiss for luck. Give her lots of love, and I'm going to see you guys in a couple of days. Thanks, everyone who came out, everyone who followed, everyone who subscribed, everyone who contributed to the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund. That's what I need. I need both of those right now. And I'm going to see you guys in a couple of days. Bye-bye. Start an hour early on Monday, do one wet race. I mean, it might be something like that. That's kind of what we did last week, the week before, something. I don't know. Bye.